Day 10, 30 days of joy, it's not a challenge. Hope you're well, it's Thursday, coming to the end of the week now. One more day left, I'm still cleaning my house, but anyway, nearly there. Um, hope all is well with you. I have had lots of joys today. Um, lots of them, still uh, one more to go, because I'm going to go and have my lovely salt bath tonight and do a meditation. Um, but I just finished my Reiki clients there. And my joy today is so excited about to talk about this one, because it's something that I absolutely love doing, is knowledge. And knowledge, my dears, is power. Over the last many years I've been doing this, since 2002, I have read so many books. So many books across the board. I've been spiritual books, Reiki books, angel books, all sorts of books, especially to do with the awakening. Um, and it is so weird. When I started way back in 2002 when I started off, you know, people were only sort of getting what angels were, understand about Archangel Michael, getting you a car park in space, all of those little things that we still do now. But now it's amazing by even looking at some of the spiritual chats and some of the, you know, the feed underneath in the comments, how so many people out there are now awakening. Thank God, because now I'm not mad and the nutter in the house. And uh, it's I, I was thinking about that the other day because when I think about how my auntie Ethel, who taught me, who's one of my mother's sisters, my one of my mum's older sisters, she's doing Reiki 40 odd years. And I remember she said, told us the story about when she was younger and how she used to question everything. When she go to mass and, you know, living in Catholic Ireland, when she was questioning the priest about, you know, where Jesus was for 18 years in the Bible, how come he was 12 and he got lost in the temples and all of a sudden he is 30 being baptised and questioning where he was for 18 years. And, you know, when we were in um, old Ireland where you never, ever questioned a priest and you never asked any questions, you just were told and you have to believe. And I suppose in a way that's fate, right? But now we are becoming more, um, uh, we're becoming more inquisitive. We're becoming like truth seekers. We want to know, we want to uh, understand it. We want to know from our perspective and we want to learn for ourselves. And we're starting to awaken and start to say, mm, does that feel right? When you're told something, does it feel right? Does it resonate with you? And your resonance is in here in your solar plexus. And I always say that to my to my uh, clients. How does it feel for you when you watch the television and you're being told about masks or vaccines or COVID and the somebody spewing out the facts? How does it feel? How does it feel for you in your gut? That's your resonance. Does it feel right? Does it feel right when the doctors are saying it to you? Do you does it feel right when you know um, a normal lay person is saying to you? Well, how does it feel when somebody? Uh, tells you about the experience of, say, for instance, COVID. How does it feel? What is, does it resonate with you? It's the same as somebody telling you a story. It might be a priest telling you a story about what happened to Jesus um, in his life. How does it feel for you? Does it feel right? Does it make sense? That's your resonance. Does it resonate with you? And it's the same thing that happens with you watching me on this video. Do you, do, do I resonate with you? Is stuff that I say go go the stuff the stuff that I say go over your head and it, you're like oh my god I don't understand what she's talking about vibration and energy and three D and five D and you know ascension haven't got a clue and that's exactly the way I was twenty years ago when I started off in this journey didn't understand what subconscious was what conscious brain was what ego any of those things and now because I've spent all of these years. Studying, learning, learning from my gut, my my guides, what through meditation, learning from my clients that come to me. It's um it, it is has been coming to me by like nearly being spoon fed. Because if I had been given all of this information way back in the start when I started off course, I probably would have ran and uh, it would have probably been way too much information for me. But now I see so many people now awakening so fast. I mean, in the last two or three years alone, I've seen so many people awakening in in lightning speed where 10 years ago there was only a few reiki practitioners around here now there's reiki practitioners coming out of our ears and that is brilliant energy workers any form of work with energy because we're going back to the old ways we're going back to the ways even though they used to say oh it's all new age all that meditation mindfulness reiki it's all new age stuff hell no it is not new age it's been around for thousands of years way before Jesus ever walked, where do you think Jesus learned how to heal? 
with his hands? Where do you think he found that out? Where do you think Buddha learned to heal with his hands? It's been happening here for thousands of years and now we are moving, we're ascending, we're awakening, we are starting to remember that we used to do it before and there's so many of the children that are coming in here, all these new children, the last 25 years, all those younger children who are coming in already knowing that they were healers before in past lives, understanding about crystals, understanding about being outside with the with the earth, being outside, feeling grounded. They know the children, watch them, because we have been conditioned to believe, my generation, the generation before me, has been conditioned to believe we have to be um, told something. We, uh, we're, we're limited in our beliefs because this is the way it is because we're taught it. This is the way it is because we're told it and you don't question it when actually now we're actually starting to question it for ourselves. Now what I say to you is if it doesn't feel right and it doesn't sound right to you whether it's something to do with COVID, whether it's something to do with the vaccine, something to do with 5G, whether it's something to do with energy, uh, Reiki, whatever it is, if it's doesn't feel right for you or it's not resonating and it, you ask your guides for the knowledge and ask them to send you the knowledge. Go on to Google, type it in and say to your guides, I'm ready for the knowledge and see what pops up. Or go down to your library, sit in front of your um, uh, books shelves and ask them to give you the knowledge. And I swear to you, the book will fall out and hit you on the head. That's how it happened for me. I was sent so many books in my um, time when I, even when I was in the hospital with my son, when I spent 11 months in hospital, one of the girls there, Teresa, she was a nurse there. She used to come in every second week with books, bags of books. I used to say to the guys, right, I'm out of books. Can you send me more knowledge? And she would come in with a bag of books. It was like, it was just like being sent to me. All of the information I had to ask for, I got it. And that led me on my journey of knowledge knowledge is power when you know stuff you um you can at least then in any form of you know experience where you might somebody says something to you about reiki or somebody says something to you about vaccines if you know the stuff because you've researched it at least you have a way of having a conversation about it and it doesn't mean that when you're having a conversation with somebody about it that you're right because you've learned it and you've researched it and you've studied it it's just because it's resonating with you and it's your way of believing it to be. So I'm on my journey. I believe it to be this way. I believe that Reiki is so powerful. I believe that a healing energy um, through nature, through natural medicines is so powerful because I've studied that and I, I've it resonates with me. But I might talk to a doctor who goes, oh, that's all new age stuff. That's totally okay because that's his belief and that's what's resonating with him. We have to try and step back from each other and see it that we're all on our own personal journey. We all have our own lessons to learn. We're all learning it in our own way. And we have to be kind and compassionate to each other's learning and each other's journey. So try not to jump down each other's throat, especially if you see somebody out there who might be wanting to wear a mask and you don't want to wear a mask. Or it might be somebody who wants to have a vaccine and you don't want to have the vaccine. Or it might be somebody out there who loves Reiki and there's somebody out there who says, oh God, that's all mad stuff. No, I wouldn't touch it. That's all right because each of us are all on our own personal journey. So, knowledge is power. Today, one of my joys is knowledge. And knowing that I came in here to spread some knowledge, to be a pillar of light and not in an egotistical way, to be somebody who has learned, who has um, is now on my journey and is also trying to throw in a few seeds out there and try to spark off you to open up your own mind, search for yourself, uh, go to the library, go to Google and start asking questions. And when it resonates with you is what resonates with you, you it will stay with you and what doesn't resonate with you, you can leave it behind. So as I said, if my videos don't resonate with you, you can always jog on and move on to somebody else's. But if it does, and I hope that it even it sparks off one person because that one person out there who this message is for will then go on, will open up their own mind, will um, learn for themselves, will change their life to be better, will be more positive, who will then vibrate at a different resonance and will spark off somebody else in their family, somebody else in their in their um, circle of friends, in their job. And all of a sudden, there's a ripple effect that goes out from that one person that I may have planted the seed with. 
So today, day 10, my joy today is having knowledge and knowing that knowledge is power and thanking my guides for all of the uh, knowledge that they've given me over the years so I can help myself and also help you and hopefully uh, as i said some of this information will go in and resonate and will help you on your journey going forward so until tomorrow namaste